Hi guys, my name's Roman and I'm from Switch Glass and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of uh, helpful information, some tips, some helpful handy tips of how to choose the right frame for your switchable glass panel. So the most important thing is that the Switch Glass conforms with the Australian Building Code. The second most important thing is that the switchable glass will fit into the frame you nominate. So Switch Glass comes in a number of standard thicknesses. It comes in 9.52, 11.52, and it also comes in 13.52. So I wanted to talk to you about a little bit of a case study. It's the Capral Glazing Channel. You can see that there's a 32 by 32 on the left hand side of the picture, and that will form the bottom uh, extrusion. And then there's a 45 by 32 mil channel, which will form the top of the extrusion where the switch glass will be installed. Here's another view and you can see again the 45mm channel at the top, this time demonstrating the glass, and a 32mm channel in the bottom with the glass in there also. Now I did a bit of a, a drawing here to show people what we really need to do or what's important when glazing switchable glass and you can see that my recommendation is that you allow at least an 18mm deep pocket. Um, the reason why is it needs to conceal this buzz bar that you can see here. And uh, in this picture, you can see that the buzz bar is only 10 mil, but sometimes it can be greater. So it's very, very important that the buzz bar sits deep enough in the channel so you can't see it once the switch glass has been glazed. So looking at the bottom section, you can see that we still need to ensure that the buzz bar is concealed within the section. And this is why we recommend 18 mil cover. In some cases, it can be a little bit less, but you can see in this picture as we zoom in that we really recommend, if possible, making it 18mm. And this way, again, the buzz bar is concealed and out of sight once the switchable panel has been glazed. So let's do a quick recap on the tips that we've had so far. Tip 1, make sure the thickness conforms with the Australian building code. Tip 2, make sure that once you've nominated your thickness, that it's going to fit into the frame that you choose. And tip three, make sure that there's 18 mil cover in the frame that you choose so that the buzz bar can be concealed within it. So just a quick recap about this video. Feel free to go back and pause and stop this video as you please. We will be putting all of the pictures up or documents up so you can download them from our site. It's important to realize that switch glass can be glazed into almost any frame that you choose as long as you follow the three tips that I've outlined. If you're uncertain about any of this information, you can always give us a call and we're happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thanks for taking the time to watch this presentation.